welcome once again to Sit for a Spell. On um, this episode, we're going to learn how to make crystal elixirs. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar, crystal elixirs are kind of like flower remedies. They're distilled water that contain a small amount of a particular mineral. And for those of us who are interested in the different metaphysical qualities of crystals, different crystals, regardless of their mineral content, have different properties. So it's really easy and it's a very straightforward, simple process and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go into the bathroom. So first when making crystal elixirs, you take your crystal and you put it in a glass jar or bottle of some kind, which you should probably make sure is thoroughly sterilized. I'm going to show you how this is done with this one, which see, I've done all the other ones there, but that is tiger's eye that I'm going to be using there. And you fill that up with water. I'm just going to use my tap water because it's nice and clear and clean, but you may wish to use distilled water. Remember, you are going to be drinking this. Alright, so now that that's full of water there, then we're going to, you can do this two ways. Now they tell you, see, there it is. They tell you just to close it up and do the settling process at that point. But um, what I do is at this point I put in some high test alcohol. And you can see you got three different options here. Any high test alcohol will work. My preferred is vodka, but you can also use whiskey, brandy, rum, Everclear if you're really brave, whatever. So. You take that and you pour it, just a little bit of it to preserve it, into your elixir there. And then what you do is for one half cycle of the moon, so you either start at the full moon or the new moon, you seal it up and you sit it on a window ledge or something like that until the next moon. So this is just the full moon now and I'm going to sit these out on a window ledge until the new moon. Then when that moon phase changes you put it in the dark for another two weeks until the next phase of the moon back to the original one you started with. Let me show you. So this is my north facing window here. And I have my steeping crystal elixirs hiding in there. This is my crystal elixirs cupboard here. And that's where I store them for the second half of the moon cycle. Yeah, I got a few. <laughs> and I'm running out of room and I need another cupboard. But uh, that's what you do with them from the second half of the moon cycle until it goes back to the moon cycle that it was when you started. And after that, you keep them stored in a dark place. And note that I have quartz crystals, large quartz crystals that I've stored with them. This is to help empower the elixirs. Now, uh, you can take them out and I put them in dropper bottles when I'm about to use them. And then you take them like flower remedies, four drops under your tongue a couple times a day, depending upon your purpose. And thanks for joining me for Sit for a Spell, and we'll see you again in a couple weeks. Merry Meet.